boxing. What's up, everyone? Eric Leamy here. Yet you're watching another episodic video from my secondary YouTube channel vlog, in which I present to you all my sentimental thoughts come from my heart and my soul, and my mental oddball shenanigans come from my mind and brain. This is EML 77 TV, episode 700 and no, seven, episode 874. Almost screwed that up. <laughs> 874. 874. That's right. And today we'll be doing the NXT UK recap. As you know, NXT UK has come back. Um, first title match um, was the main event. Uh, Kaylee Ray defending the NXT UK Women's Championship against Piper Niven. We're gonna start. We start off with Valter, the NXT UK Heavyweight Champion. They take on this crazed superstar named Saxon Huxley. This guy's a nut. He's like he's way out there. He's reminiscent of Bruiser. He trying to look like Bruiser Brody. And I mentioned that, said that to myself, and Nigel McGuinness has said it. I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah, Nigel McGuinness and Andy Shepard bringing bring the action. And Saxon Huxley took it. Saxon Huxley took it to Walter. And I mean, and then Walter. Saxon Huxley made a mistake. Walter got him. And, and then after the powerbomb, Walter has won the matchup. So, and he says something in a foreign language to. Ilya Dragunov, the number one contender to the NXT UK um, champ, heavyweight championship, we saw last week to kick things off when he defeated Noam Dar. And then the NXT UK Heritage Cup tournament, it, uh, um, the draw Pete Dunne has arrived. Um, check this out. All right, I want to explain to you the Heritage Cup championship rules. It will be under British Rounds rules, and I'm going to read it. From, it's on here on Wikipedia just to let you know what's going on. Uh, all matches consist of six three-minute rounds with 20-second breaks between each round. All matches are two out of three falls. Falls can be won by pinfall, submission, or knockout. Once a fall occurs, the round ends. The match ends once a wrestler has won two falls. In the event of disqualification or knockout, the match instantly ends without the need for two falls. If all six rounds are completed... Whomever who is ahead of falls w wins the match. So, there are 78 competitors revealed, and I explained to them. And there's going to be a wild card entry. In fact, next week, there will be a triple threat match to decide who will be the third, um, the wild card, um, uh, the, for the wild card spot in that tournament. And the winner of that triple threat match will, will go on to face Trent Seven. These are the matches that will be set up for um, for the tournament. In the first round uh, first round matchups will be Joseph Connors going one on one with Dave Mastiff. The winner of the triple threat wild card qualifier will face Trent Seven. Flash Morgan Webster goes one on one with the A Kid from Portugal, and Alexander Wolf versus Noam Dar. That match will happen next week because those two guys are ready to go at it. And Pete Dunne has volunteered to referee the match. So for the first round for the Heritage Cup, uh, NXT UK Heritage, Heritage Cup tournament, it will be Alexander Wolf of Imperium versus Noam Dar. And you know what, Noam? You're, you're going to have to win every, all your matches without Alicia Fox. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> I can't believe they had him. <laughs> Alicia Fox. <laughs> I like Alicia Fox. Oh my gosh, it, that cracked me up every single time. Every time, every time I hear, I, every time I think of No, I'm Dar, I'm thinking of him and Alicia Fox. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's why I like professional wrestling. You talk about entertainment. That's definitely entertainment to me. You know? All right, and the crazy tag team uh, matchup, the Hunt, went up against Pretty Deadly. The Hunt will be uh, Primate and Wild Boar versus uh, Pretty Deadly. That will be the team of Sam Stokeler and L Lewis Howley. Match went back and forth. The Pretty Deadly are a pretty well-oiled machine team. In fact, they're a pretty cool tag team. And uh, they ended up winning the matchup, though, outsmarting the Hunt and Flash Morgan Webster and Rock Andrews talked to them in the locker room, saying, hey, chin up, you'll get more opportunities. Check this out. Eddie Dennis did approach uh, Pretty Deadly 
Is he thinking about being a manager or getting a team of his own together? We'll, we'll find out. You know, I you know I thought about this a Pretty Deadly. I said, hmm, I wonder what would happen if Pretty Deadly met, met Brizongo. You know, because they're like you know the same giving. You know, Brizongo be the fashion police. You got Pretty Deadly to like supermodels or something like that. Imagine those those two teams went at it. Like, let's say if um, let's just say the the, the travel restrictions have been lifted. And um, we were able to go everywhere, and uh, pretty deadly. You know, when they had NXT uh, versus NXT UK Worlds collide, if they had something like that, pretty deadly versus Brizongo would be a heck of a matchup. But then again, you got um, the Hunt versus. Um, I like to see the Hunt go up against, let's say, Heavy Machinery, because I'm talking about two wild teams. They're trying to go at it here, so it's going to be something like that. So. And uh, it'll be a very, very interesting situation. Now, the main event was the NXT UK Women's Championship on the line. Kaylee Ray defending the title against Piper Niven. And it seems now, remember, Tony Storm, the reason why they have not mentioned her is because Tony Storm is out of the women's title picture. In fact, she was on NXT before, NXT in the U.S. before the, uh, uh, before the pandemic happened. It was the last one, what, February? I think she confronted uh, Io Shirai, I think. I think it was a matchup against Io Shirai. I think it was a matchup against... It was a tag match. A triple threat tag match. I don't know. She got involved in some kind of match. NXT and Io Shirai was there and everything else. So, anyways... Um, <clears throat> anyway, so... Because of the stipulation that Kaylee Ray and the I Quit you know, matchup was... Would be that Kaylee Ray, as long as she's champion, Tony Storm cannot challenge for the title. Uh, Piper and Niven, Kaylee Ray, they went at it, and, and I'll tell you, it was a heck of a matchup. And then Kaylee Ray made a mistake of ramming her knee, trying to ram her knee into Piper and Niven on the st- uh, metal stairs, and the referees tried to call off the match a couple of times. But then Kaylee Ray just slapped Piper and Niven, and Niven slapped her right back. Niven grabs Kaylee Ray, puts back the ring, and then as you know, he's uh, Piper Niven was trying to um, yank on the injured um, arm there, uh, injured leg of, uh, of Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray yanked off the, the bottom turnbuckle. I was like, "Oh boy!" This is referee tried to put the match back on, and he hears Kaylee Ray screaming for submission, and then she got out of it and everything else. And uh, and then and then Kaylee Ray propped herself up in the corner where the exposed turnbuckle was. And then when um, Piper Niven went to go after her. Charged after her, did a little cannonball, but then it hit, her back hit the exposed turnbuckle. Kaylee Ray took advantage of it, made the pin. One, two, three. Kaylee Ray retains the title. But now Ginny is looking on. Maybe the fashionista will be in line for a title shot, as you can see. So, be very interesting situations here. What's going to happen? You know, I know if it had, if it had not been for the travel restrictions, we'd be dreaming up uh, dream matches so far for right now. You know. I could, yeah, I could see, like, like I said, if they had a world's collide, you know, if the travel restrictions get lifted, uh, you're talking about a world's collide, you're talking uh, Pretty Deadly versus um, <clears throat> Breeze Zongo, that would be a heck of a matchup. So, once again, here is the um, the uh, Heritage Cup tournament matchup so far. Uh, Joseph Connors goes against the Bomber Dave Mastiff, the a wild card qualifier. The wild card winner will face Trent Seven. Flash Morgan Webster goes one on one with a kid, and then next week it'll be Alexander Wolf of Imperium go against No M Dar. I don't know who I have. I think Trent Seven would be um, would have the advantage in this tournament. I think with his veteran, you know, veteran presence. I think so. It's going to be uh, something else. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens in that in that uh, tournament. It'll be very interesting to. See who would hold that Heritage Cup, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. All right, as you know, also the Clash of Champions is this Sunday. We have one more sma- one more event to go tomorrow night, Friday night SmackDown, as uh, the final SmackDown before Clash of Champions. As you know, all the titles are set. The WWE, the Universal Title on the line, Jim, uh, Roman Reigns versus Jimmy Uso, not Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso, excuse me. The Usos mix up SmackDown Women's Championship, Bailey versus Nikki Cross. Uh, the SmackDown Tag Titles, Cesaro Nakamura versus Lucha House Party. And the Intercontinental Title in a ladder match, Jeff Hardy versus Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles. So, unless those matches change up, that's where we stand right now. And we will we'll recap for 
for tomorrow night on SmackDown. Also, NXT TakeOver, three title matches. The NXT Championship, uh, Finn Balor versus Kyle O'Reilly, will be a heck of a banger. Banger of a matchup. North American title, um, Damian Priest versus Johnny Gargano. And the NXT Women's Championship, Io Shirai, defends against Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae and Gargano have an opportunity to make history at this TakeOver event that will be October the 4th. And, uh... Also, um, listen, what co- upcoming episodes I will make this weekend? We'll find out. Um, we've got one more day of work. That's tomorrow. And uh, we'll find out for sure what will be that all about. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, we will see what we can, what I can do and possibly another game maybe. Uh, I'm trying to do some Get These Thumbs and everything else has been going on. Been a lot of crazy stuff has been happening. So, uh just can't lose hope. Just got to keep on going and just uh, do the thing that I do very well. And uh, it's going to be an interesting situation. Well, it's almost 5 o'clock. It might be dinner time around about this time, and we'll find out for sure. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, uh, the rest of the evening. And hope, well, remember, tonight is Press Your Luck, and I'll watch it. And um, we will. Uh, I will see you on episode 875. Of this um, lovely, lovely show. And uh, we will see... Oh, a lot of things could happen between now and then. (laughs) You never know what is going to happen. All right, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you. Episode 875. Peace.